On the Mark 8 MM and the Mini Mark 8 MM, there are three different types of software. The first is BC and stands for Burner Control. This is your safety related software and although it can only be upgraded at Autoflame, you typically wouldn't need to do this. Now next you have MM. This stands for Micromodulation and really handles the back end, all the functionality of the respective MM. Finally, you have DI. This stands for Display. Now this of course is all of your graphical changes on the front end of the Mark 8 or the Mini. Now you guys would only ever need to upgrade your MM software and your DI software, all of which is done via the SD card on the Mark 8 MM and the micro SD card on the Mini Mark 8 MM. Software needs to be updated one type at a time. So the first thing to do is to download the respective DI or MM software onto an SD card for the Mark 8 or a micro SD card on the Mini, power down the respective MM and isolate the power. On the Mark 8 MM, the SD card is located behind the two boards. So after isolating the power, you need to make sure you remove the four corner pillars using your seven millimeter nut spinner. Now you can leave the high voltage plugs in the bottom, but make sure you remove the low voltage. Just pull them up and be careful when you do pull on those. You need to lay down the two boards onto a non-conductive surface. And I say that because we have the heat sink on the back and you don't want anything shorting out when you lay that down. So make sure you put it on a safe surface. You can see I've laid the boards down onto a safe surface. There's a couple of cables here connecting the two boards, so make sure you don't disconnect those. Now you can see the SD card here at the back. If you remove it and just keep it to one side, take your update card, either your DI or your MM, place it in the SD card slot, boards up, plugs in, power on the MM and it will go through its update process. Now at the end it will tell you to power cycle the unit. At that point you repeat the process, isolate, boards down, now put in your other update SD card or just swap the files around, boards up, power on and it will go through its second update procedure. At the end when it tells you the power cycle, this is when you need to put in your original SD card. Now at that point, once you've put in the original boards up, put it back the way it was at the beginning. Your MM is now updated with the latest MM and DI software. Now this process is almost identical on both the Mark 8 EGA Evo and the Mark 8 DTI.